Time for some backup! Hey! What's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Kamen Rider G.O. Rider Kicks Figure Rider Armor Series, Kamen Rider Gates! So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So at the front here, we have Kamen Rider Gates, his name is Kamen Rider Gates, on the top, Rider Armor Series, Rider Kicks Figure, on this side of the box we have Gates, on the other side of the box we have Gates, on the back... We have our obligatory product shots. It does this, that, the other things and stuff, words and stuff that I cannot read. Warning and Sad Pac-Man! And that's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along, here we have Common Rider Gates, the secondary writer in the series. So let's get in close here. So we can take a look at that helmet. Very nicely done. You got the nice... Gold for the visor, white, black, and again, everything clearly labeled. <laughs> it's like the old Batman series with Adam West, everything is just clearly labeled. That's the way the series is going to be, apparently. But uh, still, very cool looking helmet. You got the black going down the body. You also have some more of that, you know, kind of dull purple going on there, along with some yellow. You got the Jiku driver. Right there, nicely detailed, with the ride watch in there. Of course, you have the ride watch holders, and the straps are painted in silver, which looks quite nice. Uh, Color-wise, there's not a whole lot going on here. you got some black here for the knees, a little bit of black there, and some more of that dull purple around the ankles there. And uh, that's pretty much it color-wise. There's some nice molded detail back here, just unfortunately... Uh, none of it is painted. Um, my one complaint with the figure is just that he's a little too red. He's supposed to have a bit more color on him than this figure has. So he looks, he does look quite, quite plain. They could have at least maybe painted the belt strap, you know, just, he, he needs a lo little bit more uh, color just to break up all the red. He's a little too red. If you look at the actual suit on the show, you know, there's a bit more color going on to break up all that red. And unfortunately the figure doesn't really do a good job of that. But oh, well, it is what it is. Now, articulation-wise, the head is on a ball joint, so you do have your wiggly waggly. You can look up a little bit, look down a little bit. Head can rotate a full 360. Arms can do a full 360, can go in and out. You got that bicep rotation. You have, oops, hey, that wasn't supposed to come off. You stay. <laughs> Elbows can do 90 degrees of bend. You have wrist rotation, uh, nothing at the waist. Legs can go forward that far, back that far, outward that far. You do have thigh rotation right at the top of the thigh, over 90 degrees of bend out of the knee. The feet are on a ball joint, they can move up, down, left and right, rotate. And you do also have that torso joint there on a ball joint, you get all kinds of wiggly, waggly, wiggly, waggly, wiggly, waggly, anyway. So, again, not super poseable, but pretty much your, uh, your base posability for these gimmick line figures. And he does include his weapon, the Jikan Zax. Um, now, this is probably the part where the people who just became fluent in Japanese now are going to chime in. Um, I've heard Japanese reviewers pronounce it as Zax. Not, I, I originally thought it was going to be like Jikan Jax, you know, because we're doing the whole pronounce a Z like a G thing with this show. But I've, I've heard Japanese reviewers pronounce it Zax. So if they say Zax, I'm going to say Zax. So here is the Jikan Zax. And um, as usual... Tons of molded detail. All the detail that is supposed to be there is there, which is quite, quite amazing. Of course, it's mostly hollow on the other side, but as far as this side goes, like, yeah, tons of detail. Unfortunately, none of it is painted, but again, this is the budget gimmick line, so they never are. But you can hold it like so. He does hold it pretty securely. So there he is with his weapon. And for a comparison, here it is with the star of the show here, Gio. Just so you can see how these two look together. So now that we have Gates here, we can show off how the uh, build right armor looks on him. So let's get him prepped and ready to go. So we just need to remove the ride watch holders from his forearms here. And again, they're just tabbed in. And we do have to remove is Jiku Driver. These things hold on very securely, so we're going to remove that. Put that off to the side. And now 
he is good to go. So now we can build in, we can build in, we can bring in <laughs> the build ride armor. So this is the side we use for Geo, but this is the side we use for Gates. So just need to open this up like so and just bring this down on him, bring the side down first and then bring the side down and that will just tab in those two spots and also peg in there on the sides. So we just clip that on. Um, as far as the shoulder pads go, as you can see, obviously they're unpainted on this side and painted on this side. Um, all you have to do is just pop these off. They're just on ball joints. Just pop them off. And, oops, that one, the stem always stays on on this side. That's annoying. I, I, it, give me a minute. All right. Got it. Okay, so you just want to take the shoulder pads and just swap them around. So the painted side is now facing forward, which is easy peasy, both lemon and squeezy. Boop, there we go. So now we got that going on, and now we will bring in the arm pieces again. This is the side for Gio, this is the side for Gates. Gates gets the black side. So I just tab those in. They just tab right into the forms. It works just like it does on uh, on Geo. Hey, hey! Everything's just flying apart on me. You stay together. You stay. You stay. Thank you. Thank you. There you go. And we bring in the leg pieces. And they tab in right in those two spots on the leg. Just peg that in. Peg that in. Like so, bring in the other leg, plug it in, plug it in, plug it in, plug it in. So we got that going on. We bring in the Jiku driver with the two ride watches to make it all accurate like. And that will just tab in right there. And then we bring in the new face plates there and that just goes right over the existing helmets and there you go there you have gates with the build armor and it looks pretty good on gates as well I'm just getting close here so we can take a look at that new face of his good. nicely done not too shabby not too shabby. Articulation-wise, you know, it's the same as Geo. You know, the uh, head articulation is a bit limited just due to that collar there, so you can only turn his head that far unless you kind of raise his head up a little bit. You can get a little bit more turn out of it. You can still look up and down. The arms, you know, can still move forward that far and backward that far. They can move out about that far. Again, the shoulder pads will kind of get in the way there. You still have your bicep rotation. You have... So about 90 degrees of bend there at the elbow. You still have the wrist rotation in there. Again, it's also a bit limited, but it's still there. Uh, obviously, that torso joint is totally seized up by the armor. Legs, you can go forward that far, back that far, outward. That's all you're going to get just due to this bit right here. It just kind of starts colliding with stuff. That rotation is still there. Under 90 degrees of bends. And the feet can move up and down a little bit. You can still use that ankle tilt if you need to. Although it will look weird, but you can still use it. So, you know, it does limit the articulation a bit when you have the rider armor attached. And, of course, you can give him the, uh, the drill crusher here. There you go. There he is. All armed up. And that is pretty much it. So there you have Common Rider Gates. Um, it's a decent figure for what it is. My only real complaint is he just needed a bit more color to break up all the red. It's just a little too much red. It definitely needed that extra color that the actual, you know, suit on the show has. But again, it's the budget gimmick line, so, you know, it is what it is. Like I always say, if you want these figures, you know, painted up to the nines and super articulated, you might just want to wait for the figure arts versions. But all in all, it's a decent figure. So there you go. Now I picked this up from Hobby Link Japan, but of course there are many other sites you can go to for stuff like this if you're interested, such as CS Toys, Ami Ami, Hobby Search, Mondorake. Of course, there's always eBay and Amazon, but do be wary of the pricing. 
You can also check out BigBadToyStore.com for some common Rider items. They mostly just sell figure arts at this point, but if you want to check them out, I'll put a link to their site in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out my Geo playlist for any reviews you may have missed, also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Kamen Rider G.O. Rider Kicks Figure Rider Armor Series Kamen Rider Gates, that's a lot. And this is M Ghost saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud, boom in your face. Oh, I, I finally found you! Oh, you're new here. Who are you? Come here at the gates, but that's not important. I'm from the future, and I'm here to stop you from becoming a very, very bad person! Me? Come on now! I'm not capable of that. Come on. <laughs> ooh, ooh, is that a spider? <laughs> Die, vermin! Oh, this is how it starts, isn't it?